wonderful organization here that uh, is doing a lot about teaching young uh, inner city kids about playing hockey and there's nobody better than, than our team to, uh, to help them to learn as much as they can about the sport. Ice Hockey in Harlem thinks it's important not only to give the students some structure and some focus on the ice but off ice as well. So we look to expand their educational opportunities through our after school enrichment program. It speaks volumes to the type of people we have at Boston University to come up with the idea to even do something like this. I know our kids, our players are having fun out there. It's a, it's a tribute to the type of program and the type of players that we have. Well, we knew it was going to be exciting when they asked us to do this, but I think when you get out here and actually experience being on the ice with these kids on an outdoor rink, which we all grew up playing on, it just really brings back a lot of memories and you see these kids who have such a passion and love for the game and I think it inspires our guys a little bit to see. To have an opportunity to partner with Ice Hockey in Harlem, we reached out. Uh, they were certainly uh, happy to have us, have us come. Uh, they welcomed us to their rink and this has turned out to be just an unbelievable day for our, for our team as well as for the, for the young kids here. Well, I asked them because, you know, we're playing tonight and, you know, game days can be a little bit, uh, you know, stressful and guys are in their routines and there was zero hesitation. I mean, right away when they knew what the opportunity was, they wanted to do it, not only to come outside, but more importantly to get on the ice with the youth hockey players in Harlem and, and kind of, you know, help them along and give them a little bit of a feedback or a little bit of instruction. And it just really was a win-win for everybody. You know, it's incredible that Boston University is here today, that they would take the time out from what I'm sure is a busy schedule. You know, the kids that we have out here today, um, they're going to be greatly influenced by this. The importance of education here is the, that's the bottom line for us. And you're doing exactly the same thing here in Hockey in Harlem. You're really trying, you're teaching kids not only how to play hockey, but you're teaching them about life. And our hope is that some of the, some of the young people here will take advantage of that lesson and, you know, hopefully get out there and go to college themselves. I can't tell you how many kids I've run into that are really good hockey players who would love to go to BU and they can't get into school because they didn't do their schoolwork. So you're seeing a great balance here of not only really good hockey players, but really smart kids. You know, the more well-rounded you are, the better chance you have for success in life, whether it be in athletics or whatever path you choose in life. So, you know, I, hopefully our guys can reiterate that message to the boys and girls that were here today. The Boston University is here and Michael Ruzioni uh, will be talking to our kids. I think it's just the launching pad to uh, even further uh, inspiring their love of hockey. One of the reasons we decided to do this and to have this event was a great relationship that we established with Mr. Sandfall. And in uh, his idea for ice hockey in Harlem being a combination of academics and ice hockey, and that's certainly what we're about at BU. As, as hopefully as much as you get out of it, I know our players got a lot more out of it because, like I said, anytime you get on the ice with players of your age uh, and have the passion and love for hockey, I think it rekindles a lot of their passions and brings back a lot of memories for them. You're 11, you're 12 years old. When you're 22 or even 32 or 42, you're going to remember this day when you were out on the ice on this beautiful day in Central Park and you were skating with members of the Boston University team. I remember when I was 11 years old, I was watching uh, the Olympics, it's the 1980 Olympics, and I was just so fascinated by this Team USA and how well they were playing. Somehow along the way, here are these guys led by Mike Ruzioni, and they take home the gold medal. I don't know if many people are aware, but Mayor Bloomberg was a uh, used to live in Boston, and we were able to uh, have a conversation with him about about making a proclamation for us by the uh, by the mayor's office. Mayor Bloomberg's office is, today has been proclaimed Ice Hockey in Harlem Day, and uh, we're very proud of that. This has been a very very special day, and thank you all for for coming out. Uh, thank you especially for Boston University uh, for making this day so special. Uh, this is a great organization, a great program, and a partner with Boston University uh, it just means so much. You know, for us, our guys have a lot of challenges. Obviously, they're all great players, but they certainly put a lot of effort into school, and they certainly put a lot of effort into being a good person. Don't ever lose sight of the fact that it, 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 pays, it pays huge dividends in life to be a good person and be a good student. Those are the type of players we want at Boston University, and those are the type of people we'd like to see you become. Yeah, and I know we're going to go play in front of 19,000 people at Madison Square Garden today, but I can guarantee you this was equally important to them as tonight will be. You guys are all doing those great things, and uh, I would just encourage you to continue to do them as you, uh, as you get older, because you'll end up in a great place. Maybe you'll end up at Boston University someday. We'd love that.